Now we just covered translations. Our next transformation is going to be a reflection. So we're going to graph the image. I know this looks like a square, but I'm really denoting a rectangle. So we're going to graph the image of rectangle QRST after a reflection across the Y axis, okay? And a reflection basically flips a figure across a line to create a mirror image. When a point is reflected across the Y axis, all you're going to do basically is um, change the sign of its X coordinate. So we're flipping about this line here, the Y axis line of the two dimensional coordinate plane. Okay, so again, just for um, reiteration, a reflection creates a mirror image. Q, um, point Q is eight units to the left of the y-axis, okay? And remember the negative in front of a position or an x, a position on the x-coordinate just means you're to the left of the origin. So I don't want people to get intimidated when they see negative signs, all right? So again, we see our point Q is eight units to the left of the y-axis. Its reflection is obviously going to be um, eight units to the right of the y-axis. So let's draw that right now. All right, so a reflection is basically equidistant about whatever axis you are doing your flip over. And we're doing our flip over again, the y-axis. And it's not Q because we have shifted its position. So we're going to call this Q prime to denote that it's been uh, transformed via reflection about the Y axis. Now, um, in our original figure, we had point R. Point R is located four units to the left and seven units down. So it's at position negative four, negative seven. And we're, again, we're going to reflect it across the y-axis. So since R is four units to the left of the y-axis, to flip it about the y-axis, all we have to do is shift it four units to the right. Because again, when you're flipping or reflecting about the y-axis, all you're doing is moving equidistantly with respect to the y-axis. And in order to do that, all you're going to do is change the x-coordinate, okay? So its reflection has to be four units to the right of the y-axis. And this is going to be r prime because we shifted our original figure or point r through reflection on the other side of the y-axis. Now we're going to reflect point S, okay? So we're on our third point of our original rectangle. We're going to reflect it about the y-axis. It's located horizontally at negative four, which means we had to travel four units to the left of the origin. Recall the origin is located at zero, zero. And it's shifted upward one unit. So it's located at x equals negative four, y equals one, okay? And to flip it about the y-axis, we're just going to shift it equidistantly with respect to the y-axis. And I'm supposed to be at four, yeah. So we're over here at four. And so if S is four units to the left of the y-axis, to reflect it, we have to move it four units to the right of the y-axis. And I'm just going slow. I know this might be redundant for many of you. I'm just going slow because there are some people in here who um, are not really familiar with navigating the coordinate plane, okay? All right, but last but not least, we're finally at point T. 
Okay, so point T is located eight units to the left of the origin and one unit up. And so we're going to reflect it across the y-axis by shifting it equidistantly from the origin or more, more appropriately, we're gonna shift it equidistantly on the other side of the y-axis. So T is originally positioned eight units to the left of the y-axis, now we're going to shift it so that it's reflected eight units to the right of the y-axis, okay? So our newly positioned point T, we're going to call it T prime, all right? So this isn't pretty, this is, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think we just did that, sorry, I doubled up on you guys. All right, so our original uh, rectangle was rectangle QRST. And we're going to see now that the reflected points form a rectangle congruent to um, triangle QRST. And when I say congruent, I mean it has the same dimensions. All right, so our newly formed rectangle is rectangle Q prime, R prime, S prime, T prime. Okay. Now for the fun and more complicated stuff, rotations.